हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट हाउ आर यू सो टुडे वी हैव अ स्पेशल क्लास फॉर सीबीएसई क्लास 9 सो लास्ट 3 वीक्स वी डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर दैट इज द फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ वी आर कवर दिस चैप्टर राइट आई थिंक यू आर नो अबाउट सम डिटेल्स अबाउट दिस चैप्टर बट इन दैट टुडे टुडे क्लास वी डिस्कस सम इंपॉर्टेंट पीरियोडिक टेस्ट क्वेश्चंस व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू योर स्कूल for cbc class 9 and how the questions are coming in that chapter and how you write down this thing because in the cbsc we have a special writing format how to write the answer that is the most important thing so in today class we discuss this format how you write down this some question so we are today in that particular session we discuss some important question of the fundamental unit of life and cell this cell chapter is not important for the cbsc board all the all the boards like the state boards and other icc boards also the cell chapter is there also this chapter is there in the class 11 so this is a fundamental chapter so it is very important all of the student right so at first question at first welcome all of you shayon sindila shatani koniket shorashish gorav rastik anubhav shohom समृद्धि सुदीप्त विशाली सोमजित ओंद्रीला अंकन देवानु सोमदीप्त सूतानु श्रीजिता देवलीना देवप्पा कौशानी सोमजित सप्तर्षी देवार्घ प्रमित रश्मि सौरेश आरसी कृष्णाशीष ईशान एंड निरूपमा अल अब स्टूडेंट एट स्पेशल वार्ड ओलकाम टू आवर स्पेशल सेशन फर कोश्चन एंसार भेरि इम्पोर्टेंट सम कोश्चन अब द फंडामेंटल यूनिट अब लाइफ सो नम्बर वन कोश्चन where are protein synthesis are happening inside the cell you know the protein is a very important things without protein any cells any living organism cannot survive but protein synthesis are happening in the cell which cell organelles are participate to produce right it is the ribosome you know ribosome why it is present endoplasmic reticulum is a network of branching structure where the ribosome present on it so they are called the rough endoplasmic reticulum on the other hand some ribosome also be present in the scattered condition in the cytoplasm so the protein synthesis are happening in the two side in the cytoplasm on the other hand in the endoplasmic reticulum which is have the ribosome ribosome is the answer next of one next question we discuss where do the lipids and protein constituting the cell membrane get synthesized you know the cell membrane it is the most important structure if we are discuss the cell membrane structure we already discussed the fluid mosaic model right in the fluid mosaic model fluid mosaic model which is given by the singer and nicholson protein and lipids two important substances there in the cell membrane but where the proteins and lipids both two substances are produced inside the cell number 1 this answer are the endoplasmic reticulum we already know that endoplasmic reticulum have the two type rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum produce protein and smooth endoplasmic reticulum synthesizes the lipids so this is the cbsc format like the comprehensive format right so please you understand this chapter because the cbsc format is a very good for all type of entrance exam like the science olympiads and other entrance also so this type of questions is very important Number three, what is the protoplasm and who coined the term and when? Number one, protoplasm is a fluidic substance in the cell which all the organelles of the cells ultimately present, which is surrounded by the cell membrane. This is the protoplasm. In that format, you write down the definition of the protoplasm. Next number one, the which the, the term protoplasm. is first coined by the purkinje in 1839 very important question number 
What is the main function of the fecal in plants and animals? Plant cells, the fecal in the large site. Animal cells, fecals are generally not present. If it is present, that is in very small site. So what is the function of the fecal? You know, the main function of the fecal is the storage. Storage of the very important some molecules like amino acids, sugar, various organic acids. Why? So plant cells. In the plant cells, the most important function of the vacuoles is the storage of the different molecules. But in the animal cells, vacuoles are very small size and also possess the same function that is the storage. Clear? You got it? Okay, fine. Now question number 5. The name is given the, in the functional segment of the, the DNA. You know eukaryotic cell. Also in the prokaryotic cell both have the DNA. DNA have a particular some segment which one is called the gene. And this gene are control the every hereditary function. So our question is that. The functional segment of the DNA is the called the gene. An eukaryotic system, gene, where it is present? Gene are present in the nucleus and inside the chromosome. Next up question. Give reason of the following. Why is the cell called the structural and functional unit of life? Because the body or structure of any living organism is made up of cells. And these cells are responsible for carrying out all the metabolic and regulate the function of all the different. So, the cells are called structural and functional unit. Right? Next question. Give reason of the following. Why is the plasma membrane called the selectively permeable membrane? Plasma membrane, that is a present in the outside of the cell in the animal cell plant cell also have the cell membrane but that is not the outer membrane of the animal cell outer membrane of the animal plant cell is a cell wall but plant cell and the animal cell both have the cell membrane and this is selectively in nature that means some selectively molecules selective some molecules can Pass on it, can, can enter inside the cell or can exit out from the cell. So it is a selective in nature. Show the plasma membrane are called the selectively permeable membrane. That is very important. Otherwise our cell is cannot survive. Give reason for the following. Why are lysosomes known as the suicidal bag? Lysosomes are membrane bounded cell organelles which is filled up the digestive enzyme. But what is their main function? When some foreign particles that go inside the cell, that time lysosomes attack on it and they degrade these substances. But after their function, they destroy themselves. So they are called the societal bag. Because their function or structure are destroyed after their function is completed. Next question. Give reason for the following. Why mitochondria are known as a powerhouse of the cell? Mitochondria is a double membrane structure. It is present in the eukaryotic cell. So it is present both plant cell and animal cell. Inside the mitochondria. ATP synthesis are happening. ATP that means the adenosine triphosphate is the main source of energy, main source of, source of power. So this power are generated in where inside the cell? That is the mitochondria. So the mitochondria are called the powerhouse of the cell. Shoresh, are she clear? Devakam, are you are clear? Okay. Next question. Why is it said that the cell with, without a nucleus is without any feature? Why it is called? Because nucleus, it is the brain of the cell. 
they control all of the function of the cell. So without nucleus, the function of the cell is not regulated and it is not controlled. On the other hand, in the nucleus, the mRNA are produced and from this mRNA, protein synthesis are happening inside the cell. So if the nucleus is not present, so mRNA is not produced, so protein also is not produced. So without protein, the cell will not survive. So without nucleus, plant or animal cell also not survive. Next question. Get the four differences between the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. That is the most important question. Prokaryotic cell, they have been smaller in size. Eukaryotic cell, larger in size. Prokaryotic cell, membrane-bound organelles are absent. In here, membrane-bound organelles are present. In here, the chromosome is, is singular and it is called the nucleoid. More than one chromosome are generally present in the eukaryotic cell. The nuclear region is not very well defined. They are called the nucleoid. On the other hand, in the eukaryotic system, the nuclear region are well defined. They are enclosed by the membrane. So they are called the nucleus, right? Next important question. Difference between the osmosis and the diffusion. Number one, osmosis. Osmosis involved in the movement of solvent from a lower concentration of solute to higher concentration of solute. On the other hand, diffusion involved in the movement of molecules from a higher concentration to the lower concentration. So in the first point, you write down the definition. Next point, osmosis takes place across a semi-permeable membrane. On the other hand, diffusion can occur without semi-permeable membrane. And if you have any example, you put it into the third option. But these two points is the most important. One is the definition and the one point that selectively permeable membrane is present or not. Next question. How the vacuole in plant cell differ from those in the animal cell? We already know that plant cells or plant vacuoles, the size of the plant vacuole is very large. On the other hand, the animal vacuole, they are in very small. So next function is a plant vacuole, main function of the plant vacuole, store the plant sap and maintain the turgidity. On the other hand, the main function of the animal vacuole only store the nutrient but do not directly participate in the follow up the turgidity. This is the most important final difference. Next question. Give the difference between the plant cell and animal cell. This is the most and most important question. Plant cell relatively larger in size. Animal cell they are very uh, smaller in size. Cell membrane surrounded by a cell wall. And on the other hand cell wall is absent in there. Plant cell chloroplast are present. Chloroplast are absent, the vacuole is very large in size. On the other hand, the vacuoles are very small. Centrioles are absent in here. Animal cell, the centrioles are present. So that is the most important one, two, three, four, five difference. Please bear in mind because this question is a very important in your school. Next question. What is the dif uh, basic difference between the ribosome and the lysosome? Ribosome are small circular particles, right? Well, which one is attached with the endoplasmic reticulum generally? But lysosome are membrane bounded organelles are found in the cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm, ribosome are pro present, but that is in small quantity. Protein synthesis are main function. In the lysosome, are filled with the digestive enzyme that digest unwanted substance. So the ribosome is do not contain any digestive enzyme. On the other hand, the lysosome is contain the digestive enzyme. This is also the different points. Next question. The right the difference between cell wall and the plasma membrane. Cell wall, you know, it is present only in the plant cell. Cell membrane, it is present both plant and animal cells. Cell wall are ultimately made up of cellulose. And plasma membrane is made up of phospholipids. And the cell wall is the permeable in nature, and plasma membrane are 
selectively permeable in nature. You got it? Very important difference. Next question. How do substances like carbon dioxide and water move in and out of the cell? Now the one. Substances like carbon dioxide and water move in and out mainly in the two different processes. Gases like carbon dioxide is very small and it means they are easily diffused through the cell. Right? So the diffusion is the most important process. On the other hand, in case of water, movement occurs due to the process of the osmosis. So you mention the diffusion and osmosis process and write down their definition. Show your answer is ready for the particular question. Next question. <clears throat> Hypertonic solution and isotonic solution and the hypotonic solution. What is it? When the two solutions are separately placed, when the outside solution is more concentrated, that time they are called the hypertonic solution. When the two solutions are separated, right? But the, when the two solutions are the same concentration, that time they are called isotonic solution. And when the outside solution is less concentrated, that time they are called the hypotonic solution. But what is happening if any substance is ultimately placed on it? In the isotonic solution, no net movement of water happening. But if you are placed in the hypertonic solution, that time hyper means more concentrated, right? So that time, the, from the cell, water is emerging out. The cell is plasmolized. On the other hand, in the hypotonic solution, that time, what is happening? That time, hypotonic solution, that means they are less concentrated now, show the cell, they receive the water because the cell are more concentrated. That time, the cell are turgid and they are bulging up. This is the important some factors. It is the most important question also. Next question. How does the amoeba obtain the food? Amoeba is a unicellular organism and they obtain the food by the process of endocytosis. They engulfing the food, right? This is the important process. And what is the nuclei? In the prokaryotic system, the nucleus is not present. So DNA material are scattered on the cytoplasm. They are called the nucleoid. Next question. What does chromosome content in the genetic material of the eukaryotic cells compactly arrange and this is called the chromosome which is made up of DNA, deoxyribose, nucleic acid. What is the function of chromatin material? Chromatin material is the genetic material of the cells and it is ultimately most important things and they control the hereditary characters. What do ultimately grass like <coughs> green and papaya, yellow and edible part of the watermelon is the red. Red because you know the plastid is the very important part. Plastid is the most important in three important, three important, three types. One is a colorful, they are called chromoplast. For one, they are colorless, they are called leucoplast. And when they are green color, they are called the chloroplast. In the plant parts, they contain the different different regions. Like you know, the grass like looks green because they have the chloroplast. On the other hand, papaya like yellow, they also the chromoplast is present. That time they are like green. On the other hand, the watermelon is red. Also, the pigments of the uh, chromoplast and it is contain the, the special type of pigment that is the Carotenoids. Carotenoids mean it is a very two type carotene and xanthophyll. Two pigments as they are show their color is the different. So this is the most important questions and also you draw the diagram of the plant cell and level any ultimately eight important parts. So write this format you run draw this picture. So I think I discuss some most important question of this chapter. I think you understand all of this question. If any doubts, please you write down in the comment section. And it is the most and most important question, right? So thank you, thank you all the students for attending this class. 
and wish you best of luck best, best of luck and please you all the students are complete the homework and next day i'll take the mock test on the fundamental unit of life show sure, all the students a request that please attend in the mock test thank you thank you very much